Fischer. Thank you very much. And um, well, now I leave the floor to you. And um, we are very interested in your press conference. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks a lot for joining us at our press conference uh, with Nick Farrell. Nick started with ski jumping at the age of six years. He has been uh, jumping for 20 years. He was two times US national champion and he won the US Olympic trial two years ago, which qualified him for the Olympic Games in Sochi. Last year he competed at the Four Hills tournament and on January the 5th he had a very bad fall in Bischofshofen. Nick, please tell us what happened on that jump. Please bring us back to that day. Uh, first I'd like to say thank you all for coming. Should I use this? Uh, it's better to use the microphone. Use the mic? Yes. All right, perfect. It's, it's already on. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Well, um, first, thank you all for coming. I truly do appreciate uh, your support and definitely the support that I've received throughout the past year. So to take you back to that day and to take you back to that fall, um, you know, it was exactly one year to, one year ago today. So, you know, just a few hours ago was the one year mark. So, but um, just to start off first and give you a little background was kind of uh, in my trial jump, I did the same exact fall that I did in my competition jump and uh, I just landed a little too far forward in my trial jump and I kind of felt myself falling so I continued with the fall and fell forward. Um, so and I broke some skis and everything and we did, Bine and I, Bine, did a lot of rushing to get my skis ready and for that qualification round and uh, I went up ready to go, not nervous at all, knew what I had to do and knew what I had to focus on and I came up uh, and started down the in run and uh, I came off the end of the jump and I knew that I had a great jump or a jump that I was working on the entire four hills. The things that Bina and I were working on were, uh, I finally did that, finally, on the last hill. But um, <laughs> uh, so I came through the air and I knew it was a good jump and I knew it was far, uh, it was going to be pretty far and I, I saw myself jump over that green line that they have out on the hill. And you know, I came in to put a telemark in and the moment I hit the ground I just stuck and I kind of put my weight forward a little too much and I landed a little too far forward. And I kind of knew I was gonna fall. However, um, since I had a good jump and whatever, uh, and I was excited for it, that I kind of, uh, you know, tried to fight the fall and I tried to pull up and tried to not uh, fall because I wanted that jump to count and I wanted to uh, finish the good four hills on a good note. But uh, unfortunately, the radius kind of pulled me in and I hit the ground really hard and uh, I tumbled out, and the moment I hit the ground, I knew I, I hurt something. I didn't know what it was, and then, uh, so I was on the, uh, laying out on the snow, and I knew there was a severe pain in my lower back, and uh, the, the medical staff that was here, like, they were right on me very quick. Um, I never lost consciousness or anything like that. I knew what was going on the entire time, and, uh, you know, the medical staff did an excellent job prepping me and getting me re ready to go and uh, onto the backboard, and, um, you know, there's one special thing with uh, ski jumping boots is, you know, when you put them on for a long time, your feet start to hurt a little bit and feel uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, I just remember distinctly uh, asking the medical staff to remove my boots because I had them on for a long time. And uh, that was when uh, the medical staff said to me and informed me that uh, your boots are already off. And that was the moment I actually knew uh, that was a very serious injury. And uh, I was like, okay, now this is serious. You know, <laughs> I might not be jumping tomorrow, <laughs> type injury. But um, the medical staff did a great job. They brought me right up to the medical tent, examined me, uh, did all the examinations prop properly, quickly, and they got me right over to um, into the ambulance and off to the hospital. And uh, you know, I went into immediately into X-rays, into MRIs, and got many uh, pictures and everything taken on my back. And uh, you know, it ended up. Needing, I ended up needing uh, emergency surgery um, on my back, and uh, to fix the, the the break on my on my vertebrae. Um, so I quickly went into emergency surgery, and uh, I I believe uh, or I know that uh, you know the the medical staff and the 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 hospital got me within surgery within two hours, which is outstanding outstanding work, and it really really helped with my situation and. Um, you know, I remember waking up the next morning, or I, I don't, I don't really know. It was a little hazy with a 
post-surgery uh, influences. <laughs> but um, uh, I remember the doctor kind of uh, came over to me and started kind of informing me what had happened and what they've done and stuff and told me, like, they told me earlier um, before I went into surgery, but he just reminded me of what I had hurt and what I had broken. And the injuries that I sustained was a um, dislocated and fractured L1 uh, vertebrae, which resulted in a spinal cord injury. And uh, then I also punctured, uh, broke two ribs, punctured a lung, um, bruised a kidney, and then had internal bleeding. So um, it was a, I did a pretty good job on that fall. So um, basically from that, I uh, knew that, you know, okay, this is going to be some time. And basically, uh, I was very glad to have Bina here and uh, Gregor Linsig, the Canadian coach, with me, um, as well as I remember uh, my teammates being there for me uh, in the hospital. So, you know, it, it was just very, you know, for all the things that happened to me that was pretty bad and pretty rough, you know, all the events that transpired, how quick the medical team worked, how quick they got me to the hospital and within surgery, and then having the support group, and then my family showing up immediately after was was outstanding and you know I, I you couldn't really have asked it to happen in a better way thanks a lot for telling us what happened on that day it was very impressive hearing you telling us uh, this story but now let's continue with uh, all these things which happened since last year what have you been doing in this past year yeah so this past year has been pretty crazy, pretty hectic, but, you know, it's kind of always been my life a little bit, but, um, so, uh, I was in the hospital here in Schwarzach, um, for, I, I left just, uh, at the end of, uh, January, and I took a medical flight transport back to, uh, the United States, and, uh, I went to the Kessler Institute of Rehabilitation, uh, just outside of New York City, which is a wonderful, uh, wonderful, um, uh, facility and rehab facility um, where Christopher Reeves went um, for his for his treatment and uh, I went there and participated in uh, intense very very intense uh, physical therapy and basically all of that and I did two times a day with some very amazing doctors and some very amazing therapists and two times a day for just uh, just over four months and uh, after that I uh, kind of wanted to get out of the uh, medical environment for a little bit. So uh, I, I went and spent a little bit of time visiting friends and uh, visiting family and, you know, because my family was a huge part of my entire recovery process. And just basically after those visiting friends and visiting family and stuff, uh, the U.S. Nationals came up um, out in Park City, Utah at the end of July. And, uh, you know, I had a, our physical therapist, our team physical therapist, our head physical therapist, uh, Jessica Tidswell, was very encouraging throughout my entire um, uh, recovery process as uh, she's worked with many athletes of many different kind of injuries. And, uh, you know, she encouraged me to come out and to be with the team. And, uh, you know, I think that was probably one of the best things that could have happened with me. Um, and they brought me out. Uh, and it was it was great to finally be back with my team and actually to be back uh, around ski jumping because um, you know it's a sport I love it's a sport I've been doing since I was six years old and uh, so I got the chance to go out to Park City Utah at the end of July um, I, one thing I did forget to mention um, you know in uh, the beginning of July I got the opportunity to go wa adaptive water skiing which is really cool um, so I've been staying pretty active with that um, with uh, the High Fives Foundation which is an amazing foundation that um, uh, supports the uh, hopes, uh, or not the hopes and dreams, but the support, supports uh, injured mountain adventure athletes in achieving whatever goals and dreams they may face. So, and they're a very understanding group, and they understood what I was going through, and they didn't give me any BS. They were really kind of pushing me and encouraging me to move forward and to go and start enjoying things in your life. Although this might be a difficult time, it's like now your time to step forward and to go do the things that you enjoy. So, and that's when they started, uh, that's when I went water skiing and then they encouraged me to go out to Park City, Utah along with my team. So I saw them and then uh, in uh, 
September, I went out to Lake Tahoe, uh, California, where the High Fives Foundation is based. Um, and I've been using the High Fives Foundation and their therapy uh, and, and doing training there in something that's called uh, neurokinetic Pilates. And uh, there's only two people that are doing this type of uh, therapy um, in the U.S. and probably even, I think, even the world. Um, but it's a, just a combination of uh, bo motion throughout your entire body and throughout your um, entire um, system and nervous system. And, and it's utilizing ex uh, exercises and movement of the body to help uh, create more control and more connections um, firing. So. Um, I went out there and had that. That was just a great extension of my rehabilitation that I was already doing and kind of went out there and kind of uh, um, had a blast because they always, they always were encouraging me the entire time. I had fun as a great group. Um, but And that's where I saw some great improvement. Um, and then I actually just came out uh, from in December. I was back out in Lake Tahoe continuing my rehabilitation and uh, you know, I actually uh, just before Christmas time, I I got the chance to go mono skiing and to go skiing again and to get back on the snow, and that was that was outstanding, and I was I was super glad for that. And uh, you know, also Bina uh, Bina and I have also gotten the chance to play golf a couple times, and uh, you know, so I've been water skiing, uh, al alpine skiing, uh, playing golf. I've been skydiving. I've been uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I played wheelchair rugby and stuff, and I, I have every intention of continuing on to, uh, you know, enjoy my life because that's what uh, I've I've been doing. I've been working hard on rehab, and I've been working exhaustively um, on my rehab. And uh, but in the meantime, I still spent time to make sure I was enjoying my life, seeing my friends, seeing my teammates, seeing seeing all the people that I love in my life and care for in my life, and enjoying the things, enjoying everything that I was up to, and even though it was a hard time. Um, you know, I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate all the support um, that I received, especially, uh, you know, right after my injury, there was a great deal of um, influx and a lot of uh, donations and a lot of, um, uh, a lo just a lot of financial support to help pay for my medical bills and my therapy bills that I went through. And, um, you know, it's... <laughs> Perhaps, uh, Nick, no, no, it's better I'm to make a short break. Yeah. No, 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 I'm no, okay, no. okay. Um, I'm just so thankful for <laughs> what everyone has done for me. You know, so many people have come out of the woodwork, and people I don't even know, fellow jumpers, colleagues, fans of the sport, you know, I'm just so grateful. I can't even say words. But, but um, you know, it's uh, it's uh, you know, it's 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 it's, it's kind of speaks highly of our ski jumping community. It's it's absolutely outstanding, and uh, you know, for what was given to me and all the financial stuff that was given to me, it's all gone to help towards my rehabilitation or adaptation costs and uh, you know, it uh, it really has been a huge help in uh, uh, um, letting me advance my recovery and move forward and uh, you know, I, I'll never be able to pay that money back I'll never be able to pay it back and all I can do is just make a return on their investment by continuing to move forward and to continuing to work hard on my rehab and to um, do well, and I, I'm so grateful for all they have done for me, and and uh, everyone has done for me. And uh, you know, it's uh, you know, people have invested in me, and they have believed in me, and uh, they've, and I, I continue to work towards, you know, w uh, you know, wor working towards returning their investment that they've <laughs> that they've implied to me. I never thought of any of it as a gift. You know, it is just an investment that they made made for me on my return for my good health, and it's something I take very seriously. And I just want to say thank you for everyone what they have done for me, as it's been huge. It's been huge. So. Very emotional words. Thanks a lot, Nick. It's not an easy situation for you. 
But uh, finally, as last question, um, I would like to talk a bit about your future goals. Um, what are you doing right now and what are your objectives for the immediate future? Well, um, <coughs> so right now, uh, I'm super excited actually just to be back here and back in Bischofshofen and back in the environment and to see all the jumpers and to thank them personally and to thank, uh, firstly, I want to thank everyone that has support, supported me again. Uh, I can't even say enough about it. And um, But, uh, you know, right now I'm probably going to start up some school classes right now to keep occupied in the, uh, my free time in between therapy. But um, I'm also looking forward to, uh, uh, a thing I'm really looking forward to is uh, I want to start getting my pilot's license and, you know, go flying and start doing that. You know, I have the love of flying and uh, I will uh, continue that as, you know, ski jumping is a great sport and I think getting a pilot's license would be absolutely amazing for that time. Um, but then uh, the, the next thing I'm sort of a project I've started to work on is, you know, I've had so much help and support. And being an athlete, um, I've gained so many skills that I've learned throughout the years, you know, and especially, you know, you mentioned earlier about the uh, the Olympic trials in uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I I remember distinctly that my preparation for that mentally, what was involved and all the mental skills that were involved um, for that preparation, and then I was able to win it. Not necessarily that I won it, which is nice too and earned a spot on the U.S. Olympic team, but... Um, it, I just distinctly remember the preparation, and now through this you know difficult time in my life where I've had to make tons of changes, um, definitely the uh, the same skills I used to during that up moment during that preparation to, for a success is the same stuff that the same mental skills that I'm using now for the uh, for to you know help me through this difficult time and. You know, I'm starting taking notes in regards to trying to hope, hopefully write a book um, that might be able to help uh, um, other athletes who have been injured or are going through difficult situations, but not even just athletes. Um, I feel like my sh story that I have is very valuable and the techniques I've learned um, and the techniques that people have taught me um, and the, just the general skills that are acquired throughout the years, hopefully I might be able to write things down and be able to help people out in the future. Thanks a lot, Nick. Now we would give uh, the opportunity to you to ask some questions uh, to Nick Farrell. We've got a running microphone, so if you have a question, please uh, tell us through the microphone. Hi, Nick. Uh, could you explain to us, um, when you talk in terms of improvement, um, what does it mean? What what actually do you have? St do you have some feeling in your legs, in your feet? And can you st do you start to move thing? Um, what, what is what is? How how do you how do you how would you explain to somebody like me? Your what do you call improvements? That's a great question. Um, you know, I, I do have some feeling, and I do have some movement in my legs, which is a great sign. Um, now. I can't really point out to any specific cases or I can't give you like exactly clear answers because um, you know like spinal cord injuries uh, they're they're very unique you know and uh, they're kind of like a snowflake where you know many of them are all similar but ultimately uh, they're different and each one is unique so in regards to my uh, um, in regards to my uh, uh, my, recover my recovery, I've been making progress in slow, small increments, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, at times it's hard to see, but, you know, it just continues on and continues to, uh, to keep moving forward, and I, I haven't had anything that tells me otherwise, um, that improvement isn't happening, um, but, uh, you know, uh, I like to kind of use the analogy that, you know, it, there's a piece of paper, and, and you have the margins of the paper, and or like the general parameters of the paper but the paper itself the page itself is left blank so from here on out it is up to me to write what is on that page and decide where and how things go from here and you know as of now everything seems to be improving and I will continue with working hard to to get me in that direction Do we have further questions? Yeah. 
uh, here at the front we've got a Nick. guy no. who would like to ask a question. Nick? Uh, sorry, I'm, uh, uh, I've written, uh, read several times that uh, you said you want to ski jump again sometime and uh, I want to ask uh, if it's true that's that this is still your dream and, and if it will be possible sometime or, or if you, can you say that? Or? Well, uh, I've been ski jumping since I was six years old and this has been a sport that is ever since then has started to grow. My love for it has started to grow and you know it's 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 the feeling of flying, it's the feeling of pressure under your skis and being able to fly down the hill and you know <laughs> you're traveling at 90, uh, not 90,000, 90 kilometers an hour um, and you got to fly anywhere between you know 100 to 200 meters or more um, in the air. It's such an amazing sport, um, and it holds true in my heart. Um, it's a sport that I want to return to. You know, just being here uh, today, I wanted to jump so bad. You know, you can ask so many people. I stand like, oh, I want to jump so bad. I want to jump so bad. And you know, that will always remain a goal of mine is to get back to jumping. Now, I will continue to work hard and continue to. Uh, make whatever improvements I can to get back towards that goal. Um, however, in the meantime, I'm still going to go and enjoy my life and enjoy the things I enjoy doing and hopefully share that with others. Please. Yes. Um, I talked to some some of your colleagues. Um, Simon Amman, he told me he was in the next room at the hospital and he says, I got lucky and you were unlucky. Um, how do you deal with that uh, destiny? <laughs> yeah, uh, Simone and I were neighbors, so. Um, but um, you know, it's ski jumping is a sport of risks, and uh, you know, as an athlete, you kind of know that there are risks involved, and um, you know, basically the the sport is unbelievably safe. It's <laughs> it's hard for me to say that now, as like you know, as people are like, oh, okay. But um, you know, it's unbelievably safe sport. Every the organizers, everyone makes sure it's a very safe sport. And uh, you know, with me, the, my jump, it was just my fault where I landed just a little bit too far forward. And you know, I fought my fall and I hit the ground in just a way that things just went bad. You know, and as I mentioned earlier, um, I did the same thing in my trial round. Um, and. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know Nick Alexander did the same thing in the trial round, <laughs> so um, we were we were med med tent buddies for the first round. Um, but uh, we uh, you know it, it's it's something that you know I understood that was a possibility uh, in my sport, and I understand that. And you know I wouldn't change anything, any of the experiences I had ski jumping. I wouldn't change anything for it to replay that moment. Noch weitere Fragen, further questions? Please. Okay, maybe. Um, how is it to jump one day and now you're sitting here? Can you explain this change? Well, what is it like one day to the next? Well, the day, uh, like a year ago, the next day, it really hurt, but, um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, being here now, it's you know it, it's like bittersweet, but honestly, um, it's an environment that I love, and it's, I've been ski jumping for 20 years, and uh, you know it's given me so many great memories and such. And I I know the feeling of flying, and I know the the just the the intense feeling that you get from it. Excuse me. Um, and so, you know, it, it's as I said in the last question, like I knew the risks of the sport and. Um, I knew what could happen, and it, it just isn't. It, honestly, like, yeah, it, it it can happen, and it just happened to me, and you know, I understand that, and uh, you know, I I still would love to go jumping all the time, but you know, I'm still going to enjoy my life at the same time, um, and but still work towards trying to get back on that hill. We've got one more question. Nick, you uh, told us that you have uh, your special, <laughs> that your ability as a sportsman, as an athlete, helped you also to, to come back in uh, or to uh, to um, in, in your re rehabilitation. Could you give an give us an example of what that was, especially? Um, 
definitely the ability to set goals and to work towards those goals. Um, you know, just you know, the mental strength that I had to know that there was going to be difficult times and that sometimes were you know going to be harder than others. But I, you know, just continuing to you know not let today hold you down and just keep moving forward and you know eventually things are going to work out to the way you want them to work out and to the way that you uh you only you can only limit yourself is in what my belief is so um just continuing to like to just push forward and continue to uh um go through those adversities even through those ups and downs uh, you know they're going to be there um but and that, that, that's just one of the the many things uh of course there's you know i could talk for probably hours regarding many things and that's why I hopefully maybe start writing the notes down in books and stuff like that and you know different little topics come up here and there and like you know sometimes I won't even think of something and then you know something pops in my head but um you know it's it's definitely being an athlete this has helped my recovery significantly other further questions to Nick Farrell otherwise we will close the press conference now a question for Bina. Of course, you can also ask Bina questions. Bina, what have you been doing to get the accident out of the heads of, of your team, which truly must have thought of it, and of Nick, uh, uh, as far even as he is here now today? Um, actually, <coughs> yeah, I just, we did, didn't go to the next competition because um, actually, yeah. Uh, I want to also for the athletes to go a little bit away from uh, with their with their mind. Um, they were also under stress a little bit, little bit because uh, of what actually happened. So, um, and then yeah, then as a coach and and also as a person, you need to move on. And uh, it was it was yeah not easy, but uh, at the end there the other athletes, the other teammates. Uh, who worked hard and um, yeah we moved on and um, I was in contact with Nick but at the same time uh, I was trying to not show that um, actually that what uh, how not easy was for me I, I tried that to show to the teammates and yeah I think it's it was okay um, we continue with the season and uh, we Nick Alexander like two weeks after that he reached his best results so we moved on and um, we we are happy that he is our teammate and he still is and that he came to support the teammates um, and also yeah I'm happy that to have him here beside because he al always was a positive person and for sure that's gonna move to the teammates now in that point and uh, he's going to next two competitions with us so yeah, I'm happy that he accept my my idea of, of joining us over here so any further questions to Nick Farrell I can see no hands so we will finish uh, the press conference with uh, some closing remarks of uh, Nick Farrell. Um, I, I would like to say thank you all for coming, honestly, um, and really your support that you've shown and your willingness to uh, write my story and such. Um, I just want to, like, one of the things I've really come to understand was uh, as a result of this injury, I've had, uh, I've had a choice, you know, I could have chosen to sit down and feel sorry for myself and been really, you know, really sad and just stayed at home and done nothing. Or I could have gone out, done the things that I enjoy doing, looking for the things that I love to do, and just working towards that end. And you know, and that's one of the main things I've decided that I ho hopefully is you know set me above this injury is that you know regardless of where I am. I am still moving forward and still enjoying my life. So, um, and I encourage, <laughs> I encourage everyone to do the same. So, um, thank you all for coming, and I truly appreciate your support. And thank you.
thanks a lot for your questions and for your attention.